Pretty good. What are you guys up to today? What's all this driving around with signs and stuff? Uh, trying to advocate for overturning uh, Citizens United versus uh, Federal Election Commission and uh, <coughs> get corporate money, over, overwhelming corporate money out of our politics and our elections. Well, wait a minute. Aren't corporations good things? They can be, but they, uh, they're not entitled to political speech. Only people are. Oh. Our uh, democracy is based on representation that is accountable. Corporations are not accountable. We're trying to educate the people about the Supreme Court decision uh, that see. gave corporations the power, the rights of the people. And now they can spend all the money they want on elections, and they don't even have to identify themselves. It looks like you, uh, you've you got a little drive-about going here, 10 or 12 cars, and a bunch of people with signs on their cars. Uh, yes, it we, sounds like quite an operation. We found actually 15 people who are alert to the issue and wanted to try to help inform the rest of the, oh, the, rest of the area. I'm really pissed off about it, and I wish the people would wake up and realize that uh, our government is being stolen by the corporations, international corporations, and international banks. Uh, they've been given the uh, individual right to vote. A corporation is not a human being. They have no uh, feelings. And, uh, but I've got feelings and I'm pissed off. What do we want? Democracy! When do we want it? Now! How do we get it? Get the oh, corporations out of the Vote them out. <laughs> All right. Reverse the Supreme Court decision. Full, full disclosure. Opposition to the Supreme Court's decision to permit corporations to function as individuals. Thanks for coming out in this cold weather. I was like, this morning I got up and I said, nobody's going to show. But we did. And it warmed up it's and I thought it was, it was great. How many cars do we have? Ten. Ten. Great. This has got to be a nonpartisan issue, and uh, that's why I'm proposing. We're going to have a summit in Naperville in DuPage on March 22nd and 23rd, and I'm asking people to sign up for that, and I'll send out more information as we solidify that. We need to take a look at this across all political stripes, come together, and do something about this issue, because this is the issue of the decade. Um, right now, our democracy is you know, up for bid to the highest bidder, highest right. corporate bidder. We won't and even know just, who it is. And it's secret. Right. And uh, that's not a democracy. We basically lost it a year ago with the yeah. uh, Citizens United versus FEC. The most perfect example we had was that guy from Florida, Grayson. Mm. I mean, well, he, fought, he fought like hell for everything, and they voted him out. They, they just the, put the money against him. But I mean, they're, they're, there's your exact answer right there. I asked, no offense to you, Steve, but politicians in general are not noted for their bravery. <laughs> so, you know. No, politicians. Well, this will take the people. Oh, yeah. Go to Public Citizen if you're not getting information. Yeah. There's yeah. so much there. Already how much money they spent since the election on health care. We have to have moderate Republicans. It has to be shown as an issue. I mean, not just the fallacy of corporate speech and corporate personhood, but that it's, it's an issue about corruption and conflict of interest. Okay. And, 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 and Put in that kind of principled context, the Republicans will, there are Republicans I think who will come and join it. But um, I'm not sure we would look to too many in the Senate for that, the way things have been going lately. But, uh, it, it is. It's going to be it's a 10 year cycle. Look at all the Tea Party movement. I mean, when I listen to them and I, and I look at a lot of things that they have, I can agree with some of it. But then, boy, that thing comes in that's just, okay, here's what really happened. Here's what, how they're describing it. Yeah. And it just, that parallel truth needs to be stopped. And, and I think something like this work today, going out and just getting this information out to people. Yeah. Look what the past presidents have said, you know. Mm -hmm. This is bad, this right. is bad. Right. And I think that that's, you're right, it was going to be a very long struggle. I was heartened by the fact that Nancy Pelosi last night on the Rachel Maddow show 
did kind of a call to arms and said this is an issue that we really need to work at with a lot of energy for a long time. Mm -hmm. And it's still very much on her priority list of things uh, yeah. to take forward. Yeah, there's a lot of groups, you know? I mm -hmm. always find about different groups that are um, mm -hmm. activists. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of groups just on campaign finance in our Essential area. Issue. And that's what I like to do is just reach out to all <laughs> okay. of them. We need to, to as a group email. have some approach. <laughs> Paradigm, the economic paradigm of capitalism is flawed at least, you know, in the way it's being done in the United States. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, the idea that you know, you're out for yourself and to collect as much money as humanly possible, you know, and whatever you can do to do it is good. You know, and, and that is one vision, definitely. Mm -hmm. But another very viable vision is we're all in this together.